Basic Education Minister Ange Mutsecha is visiting Nal Napier's Secondary School up in Pretoria ahead of the start of the matric exams today. Being accompanied, as Tumza said, by Gauteng Premier Panyazala Sufi and Provincial Education MEC Matome Chilwane. Our matriculants are getting ready to write English Paper 1. So let's head there now with Slendelo Masakane in Mamalodi uh, for us. And as we uh, watch all the pupils behind you, Slee, I know you're going to talk to a guest in a moment, but uh, can you remember the first day of your matric all those years ago? I wasn't sure if I was nervous or close to tears. Well, it wasn't all that long ago for me, Gareth. I don't know about you, but I can certainly remember uh, my first day of uh, writing the metric exams. I can remember being excited, being nervous. Um, and as you can see behind me, our guest of honors are here. We're going to speak to them very soon. But just to give us more context around uh, the actual exams themselves, I'm joined by the DBE spokesperson, that is Mr. Elijah Mtlaga. Thank you so much for your time this morning. I don't know how, if you remember how you felt um, on this particular day, but maybe just give us some context in terms of the preparations that have been done and of course that issue around load shedding as well. Yeah, well, it's been a long way to this day. We, as you know that uh, this group of learners were in grade 10 in 2020 when we encountered the COVID crisis and uh, they did not write exams <coughs> Excuse me, on the, in that year, at the end of that year. Last year, start stop due to COVID closures of schools because of COVID cases and now we're here. Um, they came here with a huge backlog in terms of curriculum because they were not able to complete in 2020 and 2021. But uh, we knew that it was going to happen. So we prepared a system. We created camps. We created, created additional learning uh, opportunities and we brought in specialist teachers to help them with the curriculum recovery. So they were able to learn and catch up and we are confident that they will face the exam with confidence. As I just asked one of them if he's ready, he indicated that it's absolutely uh, ready and uh, that's good. I mean, that's the feedback that we've been getting across the country when we're uh, um, monitoring the, the camp. So we, we, we hear the system is ready as well. We've had to expand uh, the, the numbers in every respect because of the additional numbers as well that are writing this. There's 22,000 more mm. that we have. Yeah. And then lastly, in terms of load shedding, um, how are schools going to mitigate some of the issues around that? Well, as you can see here, there's sufficient light. Uh, if they go into an, an exam center, they should be able to write pen to paper. No electricity required. It's just a, a, you know, a, a situation which does not require power, really. So the worst is behind us in terms of the power supply needs uh, because uh, computer applications technology as well as IT, which were written last week, are the only two subjects which are practical in nature and they require power. And uh, we know that uh, in Tswana West there was an issue where there was uh, load shedding and when the power came back, their computers were blown off. So that was the only damage that we experienced, but those learners will write again at the end of the exam, so they will have that second opportunity. Otherwise, we are good to go. We don't anticipate that we'll have any more challenges. In terms of securing the papers, in terms of, you know, the issue around copying and leaking of papers, um, what's happened around that? Yeah, we, we, we work this time around with state security who helped us to visit uh, different uh, provinces multiple times to make sure that uh, all provinces comply in terms of the storage facilities, but also to demonstrate to officials in the system that we are serious now. We are bringing in law enforcement agencies, but also when it comes to the cases of the people who were arrested for the 2020 leak, that is in court as well. It's going back in the first week of December. So people are arrested, the system is being improved, but also we got our learners to sign a pledge and their parents to sign a commitment agreement. So we are bringing all the stakeholders on board to highlight the need for a clean exam, one which does not have any irregularities. So we hope that will uh, sensitize people to understand that we all need to protect it. Thank you so much, Mr. Mtlanga. I want to bring in our guest of honors now. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Good, are you? I'm good. Now, let me start with you. How did you prepare for your exams? <laughs> I didn't sleep. You didn't sleep? I didn't sleep. Yeah. I worked very hard. I've been studying since the beginning of the year, and I'm still pushing even now. Mm. You can only hope for the best, you know? Yeah. And good luck to all the metrics out there. Yeah. Okay. Lady, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm good, thank you. Tell me, how did you prepare for your exams? Well, same as you did it. I didn't sleep also. Yeah. But it was hard. Mm -hmm. And since I have a condition and it was hard with it, but I can't really speak about it. Mm. Tell me about how you dealt with load shedding. How did you deal with that? 
Load shedding didn't really affect me. Okay. I managed to like keep up with time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lady, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm good, thank you. Tell me, how did you uh, prepare for your exams, and what do you want to study when you're done? Um, it took it, 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 it took time, and I used past question papers, and obviously we cross nineteen. Yeah. Um, when when I grow up, I want to be um, an engineer. Okay. Have you applied at various universities? Yes. Okay. Good luck, ne? Thank you. All right. How are you, young lady? Yourself. I'm good, thank you. Tell me now, what's your advice to the class of uh, 2022? Um, how should they approach these exams? Um, I feel like they, for, from my personal um, point of view, they should um, listen to their teachers when they offer uh, extra lessons and stuff because we really, we really do need uh, the, all the help that we could possibly receive from all aspects. Okay. How are you doing, young lady? I'm okay, and you? I'm good, thank you. Tell me, what would you say to somebody who wants to cheat during these exams? I would say that it's actually going to be a misfortune for them and they are going to have to deal with um, very bad consequences because if you cheat, you are going to be suspended from writing exam for from now until I think five years. So it's really a bad decision to, to make. I'd advise someone who wants to cheat to actually um, just wrap off the mentality and just study and write with honesty and bring out their best potential to these exams because they carry their lives. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, you think you're going to pass? Definitely. I love it. I love the confidence. I love the confidence. Anybody else who wants to say something? Yeah, well, I guess I have something to say. Okay, tell me, how did you prepare for your exams and um, what do you want to be when you're done? Well, I prepared for my exams the best possible way I could. Um, I referred to the last, um, to the past question papers. I also referred to some teachers, you know, for help. And uh, well, when I'm done with school, I want to do journalism, media and journalism. If not, well, I'm gonna go into the law firm. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, sir, are you ready for your exams? I am ready for my exams. Um, it's really scary sometimes, but. I'm ready to work hard and do my best at all times. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for speaking to me. On the, on the count of three, can you please shout for me, good luck class of 2022. One, two, three. Good luck class of 2022. Woo! All right, guys. So we're counting down to... Oh, that's terrible timing as uh, we end off with Slee. But luckily, we got in the uh, good luck to the class of 2022. I'm sure Slee was going to have another dig at me about the difference when she wrote her matric exams versus I wrote my matric exams. Uh, hers wasn't too long ago, but all the very best. Where are we, 13 minutes after 7?